All right. Welcome back. If you remember last week, we made a knife. We put a handle on, or we put a Beavercraft chip carving blade in a handle that we made. All right, so we're gonna do chip carving video this time. This is the lesson that like made me a beginner carver into an intermediate carver, uh, especially when you're going after like these wood spirits types of shapes uh, with just a knife. This is like how you attack it as opposed to like, so instead of just digging around with a blade. Um, so let's dive right in. All right, people, we're not doing like a full project because I don't know, I never did one. So I learned from a guy, I think his name's Wayne Burton. And at the time, I, there is either a YouTube video of his or I downloaded it illegally. And um, just the basic concept. I suck at this, but so with uh, like, with gouges and stuff, like there's all kinds of little uh, like warm ups and practices that just go along with the tools and um, and they like go along with those teachings. And whittling, you don't really have that. You just kind of have the stop cut, and that's it. Do do. So you can kind of do this. There's a there's a upside down pyramid, which is like the main chip carving, and a lot of designs you guys should definitely look it up are made out of it. But then there's also some other cuts which are gonna help you just get through right again when you're when you're attacking something like this and you're trying to dig out wood this is going to be your toolbox for how you attack all of this stuff um, so that again you're not just digging around so chip carving you can do this with any knife um, but for chip carving in general uh, it's it usually the blade looks something like this and it's a little bit forward as you can see because um, it's mostly digging the point in and you're not really going after this this specific shape of knife isn't good for doing uh, scallop cuts, which is like a curved, you know, this type of deal. Right. So you're gonna do this right here, and you're gonna do this right here, and then you're gonna do this right here. Now you notice how my blade is at a 45 degree angle. Okay, all the way around. And you get that pretty little upside down triangle. Alrighty. So, yeah, just think about that that 45 degree angle. Look at the, look at the way it, it sinks in, alright? You start it here. And then as you're pushing in, you're going to go over, right? And you go like this, right there. And then it's already done. Because this is making that line on this side, all right? Let's take a look at it again. And again, look, see the angle? It's coming in at like a 45 degree angle. Just set your knife like that, and you're going to be good to go. Again, just sink it in and drag it over. Let's take a look at that from the side. And there it is, right there. And if you need to clean it up, that's all right. So this one, we maybe want to make a little bit bigger, and you'll maybe see how it cuts in there. Okay. You guys see that? Kind of as I'm going, I drag it over a little bit. You're almost just pushing it in, but there's a slight move over and a slight move down. And then the shape of your knife, right? That's what I was drawing here. Because you're doing this triangle, right? You pretty much just sink your knife in like this. All right? You just go, and you're going to be doing like this. With your, you're going to go like, and that's the whole thing. So just barely sinking it in. And, of course, it'll be at an angle, though. And then you do that for the upside down triangle on each side. Okay, and as you do this, see, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have done this one first, okay, and then done the other ones because there's a pressure that happens because this blade, now this is kind of a thick blade, but all blades are going to, they're going to widen when they go in, 
all right, and that's going to be pushing the wood over. So when you have a little sensitive spot, it might tear out the wood. So you want to relieve the pressures. Okay, does that make sense? When you're doing it, hopefully your, your mind kind of models it a little bit. But you see how it like the when I cut in there, it pushed it up, and because and because it's at 45, it's pushing it this way. But when I cut in from this side, see how it already pushed it out. Okay, and if that cut wasn't there to relieve that pressure for the wood to go up, it would have broken this wall right here. It would have pushed it that way. Okay, so this is just it's a wonderful exercise to get things going in your mind uh, for what's going on. See how it pushed all that wood up? And again, this is how, the, using this 45 degree angle cut is how you also control this. So if you're cutting an eye, right, if you're doing um, in the middle here and you're cutting out an eye, look, see how I lost a piece there? It's because of some pressure going down, pushed it out. So you think about in which order there's the least amount of pressure, right? Um, and if there's too much pressure, how do you relieve it first? So you can do this in all kinds of patterns, and then you're also going to have uh, your, your V pattern. And again, you want it going in at a 45 degree angle, like this, and then go, whee, okay? Keeping it at a 45 degree angle the whole time. You're going to go back along there and do the same thing. And go, wee, 45 degree angle. And you're, you want to be thinking about where, oh, I kind of messed up there, where this point is at all times, right? So that also it's not going too deep in. Where this also works is in lettering, all right? So let's say you're doing a T. You're going to be doing Roman numerals, all right? So we're going to call, mm, this is also kind of a crucifix, but whatever. You guys get the idea. So you do your snake cut, all right, to get the middle part out, and then you're going to do a triangle. So again, we're going to do this 45-degree angle one side, 45-degree angle the other side, okay? And then on the ends, we're going to do an upside-down pyramid, okay? And that's what makes Roman numeral like this. You guys recognize this, right? This is like a, one of the oldest fonts around. And it's because of carving, whether it's in stone or wood. Try to watch how deep your cuts are. That one went out a little bit, but it's no big deal. Again, we're going to finish the, each of those tips off, make it clean with an upside down pyramid. Okay. And sign making was one of the last great wood carving jobs that there was some people still get it on pubs and stuff so you guys can learn this and have a profession ooh I messed up there but you guys get the idea right it's pretty cool looking so um, yeah do some lettering right the curves get harder but that's when you practice this just don't make it too deep right you'll, you'll find out real quick what your blade can handle um, as far as, because uh, you would want a thinner, like a more narrow one uh, for a whole serious like sweep that's super deep. But any knife you can get like a shallow cut out of, right? Like, like what we're doing over here and whatnot. So just when it's getting deep, same idea uh, for if you don't have your V-tool and or the wood's really hard, you would do this for uh, your, your beard. So again, you're going to go in at this like 45 degree angle, okay, and you're going to go, you know, wee, and then you're going to go on the other side, and then try to match it and go wee. So for a smaller shape like this, it's a lot easier to get a clean cut out of, because you're not having to dig all deep. Um, all right, so we're going to do that again. You, you get that 45 degree angle, and you go wee, isn't this fun? Remember that artist they used to draw and his markers used to make noises, like make a song as he, I want to bring that back, okay? So that's how you make your beard and stuff. And this is like all this stuff, right, by the way, is how you make your eyes, 
because um, this is this is what the eyes are made out of. You're doing a bunch of little slits. Let's look at that, okay? You're gonna do your, you know, we. <laughs> you probably drop that. Okay, right. The top. You know, go in there for the bottom. All the, again, keep it at a 45 degree angle. Try to make where those points match up, and then get your little. Well, I don't know. This eye is not very three-dimensional. I guess you would do another V-cut in the middle. Let's try to pull that out of here to get your squint going on, right, for your eye. So, very simple eye, and you'll get a nice look. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do this. It's going to improve your carving game tremendously. I hope you had fun. Respect.